Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Sule and I work as an application engineer with Beacon India. In this video, I will be showing you how you can work with the kinematic link option in SOLIDWORKS Composer. Creating movements because of mats are easy for people who design using SOLIDWORKS CAD. But what about people who are only concerned about the documentation part and not the complete design? SOLIDWORKS Composer is a powerful documentation tool which helps your organization including non-technical users leverage 3D CAD data to create dynamic graphical content such as animations, technical documentations, high resolution images and so on. It also contains kinematic link which is an easy to use tool for creating linear and rotational translations. Kinematic transform acts as mates in SOLIDWORKS CAD to create parent-child links and pivotal alignment between actors which is in turn greatly reduces time to create animations in SOLIDWORKS Composer. So here we go, under the transform tab, there is link option available. I will use link child to parent type connectivity and select a component I want to treat as child and then a component I want to connect to. So I follow the same thing, click child and then parent. Once I define the hierarchy, this will store in my assembly tree and you can see that some sort of staircase structure showing each component connected in a chain. Now the way components can link to each other are at their pivot points. So we must set pivot of each component. Before starting this, if I hit the multiple gizmos button, then select everything, then it will show us the default location of pivots. But we don't want that, we want to set it at a very specific location. So we will use the set pivot on line or axis option to set pivot of that component. We will do this method for all the components. Okay, so let's select everything again with that multiple gizmos option turn on and we see that the pivots are at right location but what we like to do is we want to realign all the axes with the void axis so that they can follow the same direction of XYZ. To constrain the degree of freedom of each component, I will pick this component and in the properties tab under its kinematic link option, I will choose pivot about the pivot. Let me turn on the degree of freedom marker so that it will show me the arrow. So currently it is rotated about Z axis. We don't want that, we want to rotate it about Y axis. So the arrow indicates right direction. We will do this for all the component to constrain the degree of freedom. Now let's test our assembly. Click on the animation tab. What I can do is turn on the kinematic link mode and try the free drag option. So we can pick a component and try to drag it and rotate it. You can see it's going on perfectly. All of them are linked to each other. Now we will use this advantage to create animation. So in this video I have explained how we can use kinematic link in SOLIDWORKS Composer and how it will be helpful for a documentation of a design. We can also create complete manual using SOLIDWORKS Composer. Furthermore, you can also make use of SOLIDWORKS motion analysis in simulation to accurately simulating and analyzing the effect of motion elements. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, please leave a comment. Also share this video with all your colleagues. Alright, thank you for watching and goodbye.